Good morning. This is gonna be an adorable day. Of course, I am here in Seoul, South Korea, part of a trip sponsored by 23andMe. And guys, later on in the video, I'm gonna tell you how you can win a trip to basically anywhere in the world, so stay tuned for that. And guys, the reason I'm saying this is gonna be an adorable day is because there are a lot of really unique cafes here in Seoul, and we're gonna go visit some of them. First stop, Raccoon Cafe, Blind Alley. Okay, I'm at the cafe. If you want to see the raccoons, the cost is 6,000 won, so about $6. And apparently there's two raccoons here, as well as a little puppy. This is just like a door openness overload. Can you guys even handle this right now? Here's some rules before you go see the raccoons. You can't bring any food or bags inside. Um, please empty your pockets, because maybe, I don't know, the raccoon might steal your stuff. Do not hold or lift a raccoon, because they might hit you. Do not let a raccoon climb up your body. And if they bite you, just tell them no. And before I play with the raccoons, I'm gonna eat this massive raccoon bean soup. I mean, they gave me two spoons because obviously this is like for two people, but you know what? Something like eating bean soup for breakfast. Has anybody ever done that before? Oh, oh there's the raccoon. There's the raccoon. Oh, oh hi. 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 Is that, you never thought I'd wear a raccoon cap this way? <laughs> Besides the raccoon, there's a capybara here. That's the biggest rat you'll ever see. Is that, wow, this guy is acrobatic. And there's a corgi. <laughs> now they're just exploring all around. Hey, buddy. Hey, Kiki. Yo, this guy is just, guys wants to climb everywhere. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I get it. It's a hot day outside. Ah, this thing yeah, is so clingy. I think his butt is towards me now. I think he's sad because nobody's paying him really any attention. He's like a little white raccoon. Maybe that's the girl. Oh, cute little white one. Hey, hey buddy. Have a treat. He's totally ignoring me, just like most girls do. Oh, that's cute. Ah, no wonder how I have is that. Here you go, sweetie. <laughs> that was such a half-hearted attempt to get that snack. You didn't even want it. You got all these like bones here. Uh. Come on, buddy. Oh. It's like took it from me. And he's dipped his cracker in the water. Yeah, that's gonna get all soggy, bud. He's just sleeping on the speakers. And he got the life. He doesn't eat out of your hand, he just takes it from you and stores it somewhere in the water. You want a cracker, man? You have to come down if you want a cracker. No, he's gonna sleep. This dude is like me when I sleep. He changed thousand different positions. How is he walking on that? I try to offer him gifts. I try to show my affection in different ways. And just ignored me the whole time. Man. Just climbing on his own little playground. And this relationship is just not gonna work. One last cookie. That one's just like oceaning, ocean elevening in it right there. I guess that's how our relationship is. I'm just gonna put it right here. Vicious one. The raccoons were cute, but they kind of hurt when they try to climb on you. Next up, going to another adorable cafe. I'm in Hyundai, and this is a really hip, trendy part of Seoul. And this is where a lot of these really unique cafes conjugate. And right here is a puppy cafe, but come on, puppies are like three years ago. We're, we're going to an even cooler place. We are going to a meerkat cafe. Look at those guys. Apparently the first thing you do is take off your shoes and put on some flip-flops. Thank God, there's a little fox here. Hey, Foxy. Hey, little 
little guy. What? Man, you guys are affectionate. Oh, someone's chewing on my butt. There you go. Someone's chewing on my pocket. There you go. <laughs> Yo, these guys are the most adorable things in the world. Like, this is so much better than the raccoon cafe. The raccoon just ignores you and yeah, scratches you. Weird. Yeah, they scratch you. I, I'm still hurt. That lady put it on my back and that thing was digging his claws on my back. <laughs> One thing about these guys is they are really friendly. I mean, they, hey, this is inappropriate, man. This one at me, look. How did you even get there? <laughs> Yo, you need a breath mint. You do. This one needs to pee. It's been like, just, you know, walking around like it needs to pee. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing. Let's <laughs> 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 just pick my nose. <laughs> hope it's not gonna poop on me. Well guys, your screens should be exploding from all the adorableness that's going on right now. Like this guy. No more kisses. This is by far the coolest little pet cafe I've ever been to. Like I went to a cat cafe, they just ignored you. The raccoon cafe scratches you. Well, this, I mean they scratch you too, but it's more loving. I think this guy's biting my foot right now. That has never happened before. No animal nor human has ever bit my foot before. This guy's a little troublemaker. I name you Dennis. Oh, oh, you're a troublemaker too. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. My body has now become the battlefield. And they are just like, they're warring. They're literally waging war around my body. And Dennis has just, you know, snuck his way to safety. That's okay, Dennis, I got you. I got you, buddy. Oh, you're, you're a feisty one. You're a feisty one. I'm gonna call you Mayweather. Leave Dennis alone, Mayweather. Ah. Stay away. I got you. I got you, buddy. This is more exciting than the Nature Channel. Time's up. Oh, but they're fighting. I don't know who won yet. <laughs> that was so much fun. That was like a real life version of Meerkat Manor. There is a baby kangaroo thingy here. Oh my god, this cafe is crazy. Hey. Hey, buddy. First time I've ever seen a fox and a little wallaby together. <laughs> Leave the fox alone. Yeah, the fox. Had a tough night. Whoa. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that's some athletic agility. That's a genet. It's a African creature, and it's agile. It's crap. Look at it. It literally, yo. Know, they should have. They should have got this animal for Ocean's Eleven. This thing could have robbed that bank single-handedly. Now it's licking its butt. That is the cutest thing ever. Oh my god. Things are so adorable. Look at this. I mean, does it have a pocket? I'm petting a wallaby for the first time ever. <gasps> oh, it's so soft. Cutest cat. It might not even be a cat, but this might this might be the cutest little cat I've ever seen in my life. Look at this beautiful. It's just so gorgeous. You are, look at those beautiful eyes. I'm I'm not really, you know, romanticizing a cat. It's the most amazing eyes. Those are bluer than Chris Pine's eyes. Like, you, you don't, you don't, no? Ah, oh, again, really awkward. Mm -hmm. This most horrible cat ever. We had our awkward moments. It's so soft. Maggie, and, and this cat adores her. It is. <laughs> oh my goodness. How come you never show me that kind of affection? Oh, here he comes. I'll give you kisses. I love you too. If I ever have a cat, I want it to be this guy. <laughs> but I don't know, like you wake up at night, you see his glowing eyes, that might scare me. Last time I was at a cat cafe, every cat ignored me. Or ignored everybody. But this cat, it's so awesome. <laughs> He's so sleepy. He's so sleepy. Hello. It's just so beautiful. I've gotta say, that was the coolest cafe. If you're an animal lover, you gotta come to this cafe. I, I'm, and I don't wanna compare it and I feel bad for doing it, but it's so much better than the Raccoon Cafe. Like, so much better. So if you wanna go visit one animal cafe when you're in Seoul, this, <laughs> come here, this is so cool. Bye, Meerkats. This looks like mango milk. Yes, please. This mango milk looks intense. And they give me like a cup and a spoon for it. And look at all the mangoes inside. Oh, it's like mango cereal. It's like mango cereal. I mean, really sweet mango. Inside milk. No marshmallows out. Not bad. 
after the Meerkat Cafe, I am now gonna go film um, a video, and I'm so excited about this. There's a place, a restaurant, I think this is Ban Chong, and they have seafood. Not just seafood, they have like nine layers of seafood in a steamer. So I'm gonna go eat like a building-sized seafood tower. seafood tower I need some dessert and of course I'm in Korea gotta get some bingsu this place is supposed to have some of the best bingsu in Korea look at this thing it's like it's like a melon with a dome of a melon with stuff inside pretty, it's right? crazy mm. yeah pretty, pretty oh really condensed milk going on <laughs> nice That is so fluffy. Look at that. That's like powder. Mm. It tastes like the first snowstorm of the winter. When the snow is just all so fluffy and feathery. Mm. Look at that. So nice. It's like you can identify each individual snowflake. and seafood and adorable animals filled day. So guys, like I mentioned in my previous videos, I am on this trip because I recently took a DNA test from 23andMe and found out that I was actually 8.4% Korean. And that's why I'm in Korea on a trip sponsored by 23andMe. So essentially, I'm re-exploring a culture that I had no idea I had any ties with. And if it sounds pretty cool, well, it is. It's, it's awesome. And here's how you guys may be able to do this as well. Because during the days of July, 12th and August 3rd, 23andMe is giving away 23 trips to 23 individuals. And the destination is essentially based on where your ancestry is. So check this out. If you win, you and a guest will get free round trip airfare, five nights accommodation, daily allowance, basically a trip with a total value of the $20,000. And all you got to do is enter is between the days I mentioned, July 12th through August 3rd, buy a 23andMe DNA kit, which is incredibly awesome and informative and you should do that anyway or you could just enter for free online and if you need more information all you got to do is go to 23andme.com slash Mikey Chan I'm also gonna have the link for you guys in my description box below and I just want to say taking a DNA test and finding out that I was, I was part uh, Mongolian I was part Korean I'm part Europe it's just mind-boggling because I always thought I was 100% Chinese so it's just such a fun interesting thing to do anyway and if you could also win a trip somewhere around the world that's even better and you get to support this channel which is better better all right guys hopefully you can check out the link find out your ancestry and be as mind blown as i was thank you all so much for watching this video i'll see you later